Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Julie from the Come Up team, and today we're going to talk about the sign-in process and the creation of your seller account and profile. But first, if you want to join Come Up, what are the conditions? Well, before you start selling, we need to know who you are and how you operate, i.e., are you an individual or a business? We need to verify your details because we're the ones responsible for editing your invoices and transparency is key for us and for your buyers. There are a few conditions that are needed if you want to join. First of all, it sounds obvious, but no kids welcome on come up. You need to be 18 or older. You need to be an individual or a professional. You don't need to have a registered business per se, but if you do, we'll need the necessary documentation and you need to reside in one of the authorized countries. That is absolutely mandatory if you want to receive payment from our partners. You will find the list of unauthorized countries in the FAQ on our website right here. And unfortunately, if your country appears here, you will not be authorized to sell on our platform. Now, we also need some documents submitted if you want to confirm your subscription with us. First of all, we need a valid form of identification. Then we need your company's registration documents if you operate as a business. These documents will be uploaded and submitted during your sign-in process. They'll be verified and encrypted. Now let's get started. We're going to follow a step-by-step -step guide on the sign-in process, how to create your profile, and how to pass our identity check. Say bonjour to our homepage. This is the page you'll arrive on when you decide to join Come Up and click on comeup.com. So first you're gonna to wanna to click on start selling. And then you're gonna click again on start selling and this will bring you to the sign in page. You're going to put in your name, username, choose a password, Confirm your password. If you've been referred by one of our users, this is where you will put your referral code. You will then decide if you want to buy, to sell, or both. In today's situation, we're going to decide you want to sell. You will obviously read and accept our terms of services, and you will confirm your registration by clicking right here. Once this is done, you will arrive to the homepage once again. And these little icons right here, if you go on the sales icon, you can click on my seller account. Now, this is your seller account page. First is first, confirm your email address. When you were signing up and you clicked sign up, we sent you an email. In this email, you will find a link. We need you to click on that link and that will confirm that your email address is valid and in function and it will confirm your subscription to the website. And then you will need to complete your public profile. So you want you to click on edit right here. And this will bring you to your public profile page. So you want to upload a picture of yourself. As I always say, be natural, be yourself, and most importantly, smile. We want happy people. And you can also upload a cover photo. It is not necessary, but it always makes your profile look a little bit more professional. And then you're going to create a little bio, which is a short text where you will introduce yourself, tell people what you do and why you're the best doing it. And you will then click here or not if you want to display your first and last name. And there's another box if you want to accept messages or not from your potential buyers. And once all of this is done, you will click on update and click here and this will bring you back to your seller account. Next, you are going to want to have your details approved by come up here. This is very important. As we said before, your details and identity need to be verified by come up because these informations need to be transferred to our banking partners in order for you to receive your payment once you start selling on the platform. So you're going to click edit right here and we're going to start. So if you're an individual, just like me, you're gonna click on individual and you're going to fill in your personal details. So basically it's uh, name, last name, date of birth, place of residence, country of residence, and your currency selection, whether you wanna play in US dollars or in euros. In my case, it's in US dollars. 
If you are a company, you will also need to add additional information such as your company name, your company's address, a VAT number if applicable, your company's legal representative, his or hers place of birth, date of birth, place of residence, and a UBO declaration that is the beneficial owner declaration. We need to know if that's you, not you, or if there isn't any beneficial owner. And again, you will need to select your currency selection. And you will save and continue. And that will bring you back up. Let me get back to my individual page. This will bring you to the upload page where you can upload your identity document. We cannot stress enough how important it is that your documents are correct. What are the documents that we accept? We accept an identity card, a passport, a driver's license, or a residence permit. It needs to be in Latin characters. If that's not the case, we will accept a certified translation. You need to have a currently valid form of identification. That means it's not expired. Your card of identification, your identity document has to be complete, legible, and never tampered with. It must be framed correctly in the picture. It must not exceed 7 mega, and the file format must be a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. So I'm going to choose to upload my identity card. Click right here. I'm going to select a file. Select my ID up and there, and I will save and continue. Once you do this, your ID will be sent to our teams for verification and validation. If you go back on my seller page, you will see that my details have been approved by come up. That will not be the case, at least not as quickly for you guys. Um, take up to 24 hours for your identification document to be validated. Obviously, I work here. Mine was validated instantly. But this part once you have done all of this, this will get you to the fun part, which is starting to sell because yay, you're now a seller. Congratulations. Your identity was verified. Your profile is completed. You can now start to create your first service on come up. You might want to know what are these little names that you've never heard of. Verified seller, come up plus. Well, this will be the subject of other videos, but just so you know, becoming a verified seller is something that we offer in Come Up. Once you've completed 10 sales and joined the Come Up Plus plan, we will um, give you a verified seller badge um, that is uh, a badge that appears on your profile and that tells your buyers that you've been verified by Come Up. And you might want to know what is the Come Up Plus plan that is interesting. It is right here. Come Up Plus plan. Ta da! Manage my offer. And this will introduce you to uh, the Come Up Plus offers. So there's the standard and the premium. Um, this is what you want to choose if you want to benefit from our $1 commission. But as I said, uh, we'll have a video regarding this in a near future. And uh, the other thing that is really, really important, and we always repeat it and stress, and we cannot stress enough how important it is, it is the training sessions and the videos, as I said, the easy tutorials to create your service and discover our platform. It is the best videos if you want to sell successfully on the platform. So we're done. Thank you for following the video today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll speak soon to introduce other fun parts of Come Up. And for now, we wish you a lot of success and a ton of cash.